Potato chips and some hair accessories. Got your giant card? Okay. It all added up to less than 10 bucks plus seven hours of police time. Cheryl Connor joins us live in the newsroom tonight with a shoplifter in the ceiling. Yeah, guys, we don't see this every day. What seemed like a typical shoplifting case tied up multiple police officers and shut down a grocery store for half the day. Tiles are still missing. Zach Nelson showed us pictures he took Tuesday night on the parking lot of the giant food store on Wilkins Avenue. Baltimore County police officers and firefighters were inside and outside of the store focusing on the ceiling. All of a sudden you saw two feet dangling and they brought her down and took her off the scissor lift and walked her to a police car. But before Nelson got this picture, officers spent nearly a full shift on a shoplifter. Police say the suspect, a woman in her 20s, stole Utz potato chips worth $2.50 and $6 worth of hair accessories. I was hoping to get uh, enough supplies to have dinner, but uh, I went home and opened a can of soup. Rose Saunders and all shoppers were pushed away from the store. In fact, it shut down after three Tuesday afternoon when tiles started dropping and didn't reopen until this morning. She ran off when they found some needles in her purse. She ran to the back of the store, somehow got up on the catwalk, and then disappeared into the ceiling. Officers could hear her moving around, but climbing into the ceiling to chase her would be too dangerous. They say she lasted so long up there because she's petite, 5 feet 5 inches tall, and 120 pounds. A crowd hung around in the parking lot. I thought maybe it was a bomb threat or something. No bomb, only a woman trying to escape her fate before officers finally caught up to her by removing a ceiling tile in the front of the store. She seemed physically or mentally or both exhausted from it. Um, I can't imagine it's too comfortable walking around on a drop ceiling. And the woman told police she was in pain, so they took her to the hospital. They are holding her name until she has a bail hearing. And after all that police work, she will face the same charges she would have faced if she didn't run for the ceiling. No word on if Giant Food will file a civil suit since the store closed for seven hours. Live in the newsroom, Cheryl O'Connor, ABC2 News. This when you thought you saw it all, huh? Wow.